One challenge is that there's a large volume of data. Each sample is a sound or an image, and there are many samples per second. Sometimes, because of the way data is compressed, the volume of data that's being sent may vary over time. In particular, the data may not be sent at a constant rate. But in streaming, we want smooth playout. So the variable volume of data can pose challenges. Users typically have a very low tolerance for delay variation. Once playout of a video starts, for example, you want that video to keep playing. It's very annoying if, once you've started playing, that the video stops. The users might have a low tolerance for delay, period. So in cases like games or voice over IP, delay is typically just unacceptable, although users can tolerate some loss. Before we get into how the network solves these challenges, let's talk a little bit about digitizing audio and video.